Hi, I'm Cameron McKenzie. I'm the editor-in-chief over at the serverside.com and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about integrating Jenkins with JFrog Artifactory and deploying your deployment artifacts up to the Artifactory repository. So I've got two things set up right here. First of all, I've got JFrog Artifactory set up and you can see I've got well, libs release, libs snapshot, more specifically libs release local and libs snapshot local as two repositories to handle the, the artifacts that I generate in my Jenkins build. That's where I want my jar files to go. And I've also got Jenkins installed over here running on port localhost 8080. I'm just going to sign into to Jenkins. Now, many times you're working with a plugin uh, or a, a third-party tool, the way you configure it in Jenkins, it's really a maybe a three or four-step process. So the first thing is obviously you have to install the tool. So there's Artifactory installed. There's Artifactory running. So if you want to connect to Artifactory from Jenkins, the first thing you need to do is actually have Artifactory somewhere. Step number two is coming into Jenkins and then clicking on Manage Jenkins and then installing the appropriate plugin. And the appropriate plugin for Artifactory is sensibly named Artifactory. So I'm going to pull in the Artifactory plugin. Install without reset is what I will check. It'll take just a moment to build, just a moment to install. And there we go, success. We now have the Artifactory plugin installed. Now, as I mentioned, it's a three or four step process to work with any third party tool inside of Jenkins. So one is installing the tool. We have Artifactory installed, as you can see. Uh, step number two is adding the plugin, which we just did. And step number three is configuring the plugin. So I'll click on Manage Jenkins. Sometimes with things like Maven or Git, you will configure it in global plugins and you can see uh, oh, it looks like I don't have any Maven installation set up at this point in time. That looks kind of weird. Maybe I'll add a Maven installation. Oh no, I've got my Maven latest set up. Um, but yeah, so here's where you set up Gradle, Ant, and Maven. You can see I've got Maven set up there. Uh, however, global tool configuration is not where you set up Artifactory. Uh, if you're using Artifactory or Nexus or uh, Sonatype, Sonar Cube. Uh, it's under Configure System that you go. So I'm going to click on Configure System there. And if I scroll down, you'll notice that we now have this listing for Artifactory servers. And it's actually plugged in some basic settings for the Artifactory server here. Um, but you need to make sure that this is consistent with your environment. So I've given the server a name, Jenkins Artifactory Server. Here I've provided the URL, which just matches the URL here, as you can see. Uh, I'm still using the default admin and the password is password with the default installation of Artifactory. And so you need to have Artifactory configured under that uh, configuration page. I will click apply and I will click save. And that's essentially step number three. So the first step is installing Artifactory. Second step is installing the plugin. Third step is going into the Jenkins, manage Jenkins option and configuring it under the configure system options. And then finally, when you've done that, you can actually go in and create a Jenkins job that takes advantage of Artifactory. Now I've got a nice little GitHub repository that I'm going to pull from. It's github.com slash Cameron MCNZ slash rock, paper, scissors. I'm going to go over here and click the clone or download option and copy the git URL there. Uh, you'll also notice that there's a couple of branches here. So I've got a master branch and a dragon branch. On the master branch, if I look at the palm.xml file, you notice the version is just 1.0. However, if I go down to the dragon branch, you notice that the version of the palm is 1.0 snapshot. And so this is the, the one that I'm going to build because I want to build a, a snapshot uh, a snapshot version of my project. Get it? Snap the friendly dragon. Never mind. Um, 
Anyways, so this is actually the the build that I'm, this is the actual branch that I'm going to build from in Jenkins. So I'm going to create a new Jenkins job. I'll call it Jenkins Artifactory Integration. It'll just be a basic freestyle project. Click OK. And because I've installed the Jenkins plugin, there's this new option that's available to me in here. And one, it's this option here in the build environment. It's the Maven 3 Artifactory Integration. Uh, it needs to point out my Artifactory installation. I need to specify the release and snapshot repositories. Just clicking Refresh Repositories will do that. Now notice it puts release for both repositories. I actually want all my snapshots going to the libs snapshot local directory. And so that's now configuring your Artifactory repository inside of the, the Jenkins build. Now, of course, what do I want to build? I want to build from Git, and that means going to the GitHub repository that I specified earlier. That's the URL that I copied from the cloner download option here in GitHub. Uh, I'm not going to pull from uh, master. I'm actually going to pull from Dragon, and that's where my snapshot implementation is. And now when I build this application, just take a quick look at the source code management there so you can see it. And now when I build this application, what I'm going to choose to do is I'm going to choose to build this using Maven 3 with the Artifactory integration. And so I choose the version of Maven that I want to, to build with. And you'll notice that when I looked at the configuration earlier, I had uh, Maven already installed and I named the Maven installation Maven Latest. Uh, the goals and options here, I'm just going to use install as the option. I guess I could do a, a clean test compile and package option as well if I really wanted to. It'd be more specific. Install is fine. Because the GitHub repository that I'm pulling from has the pom.xml file directly in the, the root uh, of the application of the project. I don't have to specify a root palm, but if it's uh, uh, not named correctly or it's a, you have to dig down to find the root uh, palm, you may have to specify that there. And again, I want to just emphasize that the palm file in the Dragon build should say uh, version snapshot. Now it doesn't actually there. So let me see. Well, that's the master. I want to go to Dragon. And you notice that right here in Dragon, we have that 1.0 snapshot build. And if I looked at the master, you would see that the master is not a snapshot build. It's just version 1.0. Okay. Uh, the point being, as this application gets built, it should push the resource into the snapshots repository inside Artifactory. And now that's it. I'm going to click Apply. I'm going to click Save. And notice we've got the Artifactory build info option here. That's a result of installing the Artifactory plugin, but I don't need to look at that right now. I'm going to click Build Now in the application. The build begins. It looks like everything was successful. I'm going to take a look at the console output. And it says to us that indeed we did build the application. All of our tests ran successfully. And it looks like we did connect to JFrog Artifactory, and we pushed the 1.0 snapshot into the Artifactory repository. Now, did that really happen? Let's go over to Artifactory. I'm going to do a little refresh on this page here. And notice here we are, libs snapshot local. That did not have anything inside of it just a moment ago. I'll open it up, and you can see that indeed we have Rashambo 1.0 snapshot uploaded into this repository. Uh, we can even go into the Jenkins tool and actually click on Artifactory Build Info, and we can even see some information about this build. Um, and you can see here that this build, which just ran January 20th, uh, took 3.1 seconds, and it generated the Rishambo 1.0 snapshot. Anyways, uh, that's about it. That's how easy it is to integrate JFrog Artifactory and your Jenkins applications into your uh, into your builds and build pipelines. 
Um, for more information on working with Jenkins and JFrog, just head over to the serversite.com. We've got a lot of great articles over there. And if you want to keep up to date on what's going on with Jenkins and JFrog and everything inside of the Java ecosystem, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNC.